Hi there, welcome to The Beaten Trail. The Beaten Trail is sponsored by Ride Royal Blue ATV Resort in Pioneer, Tennessee, where all of your Tennessee adventures begin. Lodging for any budget, bring your RV, or stay in a cabin. Trails are attached to the resort and not a far drive on ATV legal pavement. So stop down at Ride Royal Blue in Tennessee. Today's episode is Tackett Creek Trails and we depart from the Rock Ridge ATV Resort which is adjacent to the Ride Royal Blue ATV Resort and it's not a far drive on legal pavement over to Tackett Creek. Big thanks for some local adjustment by the experts that know really what steering is all about when it comes to side-by-side. So big thanks for all the assistance uh, and adjustments in the field that we got. So Craig uh, was nice enough to take us on this tour. It was a great day, just beautiful. The leaves were changing. This was be our first day out with Craig and the group. And he does offer these tours if you are staying at the premises of Rock Ridge and Ride Royal Blue or the Ridges. So keep that in mind when you go there. If you don't know your way around, Craig will definitely be able to help you with that. Now most of these trails were about a red, I'd have to say. Most of it was four-wheel drive and Tackett Creek does not currently label their trails. So there are some markers. Uh, there are not numbers and other indicators of trail difficulty and type, but you can get some of these maps not only from Tackett Creek Mafia on the Facebook uh, page, and you can also get these through other systems. But uh, we did enjoy all the overviews, and of course, we had to put the drone up. So this trail followed a ridge line around several peaks and as you can see it was moderate it was not a very difficult trail but still a lot of times that you'd wind up being in four-wheel drive the rocks were not slippery at this time but i can imagine in the rain uh, they would be overall rocky and ruddy but we had a great time had a little bit of 360 action going on there and the the temperature was just perfect and you couldn't ask for a nicer day so this is a bit of an extended trail so we're going to try not to talk your ear off too much but these trail systems just are worth checking out and if you haven't been to Tackett Creek this is a small piece of it of course this is not a complete Tackett Creek review we would like to get back down here in the spring, but just the stair steps of rocks on these trails were so much fun. And you'd run into a little bit of mud and a little bit of ruts here and there. But just as you can see, uh, you couldn't ask for a better day to go riding. And we had a group of about six or seven individuals. And these all were friends that we made and they were all staying there at Rock Ridge. So it was convenient just to take a quick 20, 30 minute drive to get to Tackett Creek. Honda did a great job 
most of the time I didn't have any issues with my high lifted tires. Actually, I had no problems with them whatsoever, and I do enjoy them a lot better than the Tusk Terabytes. Now, they aren't Zillas and they aren't super sticky, but they're enough for my trail style and my riding. Uh, like I said, I'd love to be back down in Tennessee more. Tack it and some Royal Blue trails, which we will see in an adjacent following video, really opened my eyes and to tell me exactly how amazing this section of Tennessee is and I'm really hoping to be able to ride more, explore more, and provide more video reviews of these locations. As you can see, we had a diverse group of some Razors. I was the only Honda there. Craig was up front in a four-seat XP 1000, and he led the pace, and it was an assortment. We had people who had a good amount of experience, much more experienced than we did and it was just a great ride out for all day and he took us to many different locations the sand caves which you'll see as well as the cabin up on the top of the hill and just overall it was great culmination at the end of the night at Slate Rock but first Craig had to do a little bit of climbing in some of the ruddy rocky trails and we had to watch and to see who was going to try it and who was going to go around, but it was entertaining and it was a lot of fun. Now, of course, what I understand, having the longer wheelbase will get you up these a lot easier if you take the, the right line. But I was not really into having any accidents in the Honda, so uh, I didn't try this one. But it was entertaining to see different lines and how he was going to get up this. What's great about Craig is he will take you on these and... Assume that you're a beginner, and if you want to go ahead and try some of these trails, he will be there to assist and guide you and provide guidance in what line to take, or if you should even try it or not. And I understand a lot of people out there watching this is, this video are going to say, well, you should just go and learn. <laughs> well, it's always good to have somebody that has your best interests in in mind when they take you out on these trails. And they're entertaining, it's great, and I get a lot of great footage. And as you'll see tomorrow when we do visit in our following video, we do go to some more advanced Ride Royal Blue trails, such as the Dragon's Back, the other parts beyond that, the sand pits, the sand mines. Uh, you'll find that there's quite an assortment of trails up here, and you can, can you get yourself into some serious stuff? Yeah, absolutely. But always travel with a group, make sure you have a winch, and make sure that you go be prepared for whatever you may need. Overall, just a great time out here with this group, and it was a lot of fun, so big thanks to Craig. Beautiful. I went up the other side on that. I was not ready to do some sheer rock climb. Not today at least, and still entertaining and fun. And the Honda had a great time. I had no issues with her. The group 
group that we were with was also from Pennsylvania, so it was good to meet up with some other individuals who typically ride where we do out in the Pennsylvania area. But I will say again, Tennessee is just beautiful, and we've been down in the winter, and of course everything's icy and brown and snow, and a totally different trail dynamic uh, if you're going to go down there at that time. Obviously dress warm, be prepared to be out in the woods for a good long time, but in the summertime, the mud is not as bad, and Craig demonstrated a little bit of that when we came upon a small mud hole. someone else tried it and got a little bit of high centered up on the frame and skid plate so of course the winch was required to get them out all in a fun trail day so no problem with being winched out it happens to everybody and that's what it's for he's a little high centered That tr that tree is uh, tourism approved. great thing about these trails at Tackett is that they do have an assortment. You will have some obstacles, you will have some rocks, you'll have some down logs. So these are, as far as I know, not overly maintained. Part of this is part of the Sunquist Trail. Uh, exactly the name, the name of it, I'd have to have a little more research, but there were some orange tags ribbons up on the trees so you knew we were going in the right direction. Craig wanted to ensure that we had daylight to get us up to one of the overlooks uh, and as you'll see it was a great place to stop and have food. It was about dinner time by the time we got up here we had a late start going on the trip but just overall being able to see all this was an amazing day. And I do have to say, one of the highlights of being down in Tennessee was Tackett Creek. And I can't wait to get back and to explore more. Hopefully get the rest of the beaten trail group down there 
to see all there is to see at Tackett, as well as some of the extended trails and more difficult trails at Ride Royal Blue, which will be in our following video. That was our day two with Craig Tours, so to speak, so enjoy. As the sun was getting lower in the sky, we were starting to peak up on top of the hill. And every time I looked out to the right, where the edge of the cliff and the edge of the hill was, I knew that we were getting pretty close to some beautiful views because I could see the, the land in the distance and I knew we were getting up there. And of course, that would be where we would stop and again, put the drone up and get some shots patience uh, is appreciated to everybody because it was just something that you have to see in person and even though the drone shots look great they don't do it justice
after a decent break, having snacks and food over at the Overlook, we made our way down to the sand caves. I had never seen them, and I had heard of them in some stories and some YouTube episodes. I guess I thought they were going to be on the trail, but uh, it's a short walk, and it's not too bad as far as if it's slippery or not, just when it's rainy it can be. So you park your vehicles here, and then you walk a short distance to get over to the sand caves. Of course, we had to go up the same trail that we came down when we went to the sand caves. And thankfully, again, it was not wet because there was some slippery, hairiest locations for putting your tires on here. But uh, you're in a trough. You're not going to go anywhere. Still a little bit of patience and a little bit of work sometimes. But certainly just loving these trails. Uh, I can't say enough about them. They were so entertaining. Of course, I don't know if I'd want to be on my little 50-inch trail here, but uh, we were headed up to what would be the cabin on top of the hill, top of the mountain. I don't know what the actual name is. And some of the trails were a little rough, but the light was going away. We were getting into after-sunset lighting, so there were some limited visibility without our lights on but we were going to see the cabin and once again put the drone up and get a shot get a couple pictures So after leaving the cabin, it was a short distance to our final destination, which would be Slate Rock. Now we had been driving for a few hours, everybody was having a great time, and just overall, I really enjoyed the assortment of day and night riding. Now, as far as I know, you can night ride anywhere down there. Of course, somebody will correct me if I'm wrong, but it was great to get the Slate Rock, but I would have enjoyed it a little bit more during the day. It probably would have been a little bit less intimidating. But we had a few people try to get some grip on their tires, wipe the mud off, give a shot at the hill. Of 
course, we had success. And it was great to watch it happen, and at night, even more so. And I was offered a ride, so who's to say no? But this was uh, Keith and his Can-Am with stickies, Rockzillas, and it took a little while to get the mud off, but I'm sure it had more to do with the extra weight in the vehicle. It was great to experience Slate Rock, even though it was not in the Honda this time. Thank you. Very awesome. It's a long way down, but <laughs> slate rock. That is just too awesome. Not in the Honda and a Can Am with stickies. Thank you. So the drive from Slate Rock back to the road was not that far, probably another 20 or 30 minutes. It was great. We had a couple river crossings and some hills and just overall, just a great completion to a perfect day out at Tackett. We hope to be out there again sometime soon. And big thanks to Craig who provided us with a great day of the tour. As with any day trip, make sure that you pack plenty to eat and drink, as well as snacks. It's always a good idea because you could be out for hours and nothing makes somebody grumpier than not having a food or drink or a snack to keep the day going. Overall, a full day and we just had a great time. Again, we appreciate Ride Royal Blue ATV Resort and Campground for being our sponsor. Thank you for all of our other partners as well for being on board with us. Get over to Lit Industries for some of the brightest rock lights you can find. And also pick up some products over at our Beaten Trail store. We appreciate you watching and we hope to see you out there on the trail. Thanks. Thanks.